In this video, we are going to discuss whether or not A plus B is equal to B plus A. Here, A and B are arbitrary numbers. We have already known that 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 2. Both are 5. This property is called the commutative property. The question is whether or not the commutative property could be observed in arbitrary numbers and not only limited to particular numbers. In other words, whether or not a plus b is equal to b plus a. Here a and b are arbitrary numbers. As far as the conclusion is concerned, the answer is yes. The commutative property could be observed in arbitrary numbers. In other words, a plus b is equal to b plus a. The next question is, how do we know that? The evidence to this question will be provided throughout the video. So, stay tuned, and please subscribe to the channel and the sister channel. The evidence here is provided by a mathematician named Euclid 2400 years ago. First, let me give you a brief explanation about Euclid. Euclid was a famous Greek mathematician from antiquity. According to Muslim Chronicle, Euclid was born in the town of Tyre, modern day Lebanon, 300 BC. Then, he moved to Alexandria, Egypt, and established his name as a great mathematician there. Thus, Euclid is also known as Euclid of Alexandria. Euclid moved to the city of Alexandria in Egypt. Ten years after, Alexander the Great, the king of Macedonia, founded the city. It is believed that Euclid used to work at the Great Library of Alexandria. The most famous mathematic book of Euclid is called The Elements. It consists of 13 book. The proof regarding the commutative property in addition can be found in Book 9 of The Elements. Without further ado, let us see the evidence provided by Euclid, the great mathematician. Before that, please support us through Patreon, or PayPal, or the purchasing of our book on Amazon. Find the link in the description. In order to prove the commutative property in addition, Euclid of Alexandria use the following two axioms. Axiom number one. An even number can be divided into two equal numbers. Mathematically, this can be expressed as follows. Let us take A as an even number. Thus, A can be stated as M plus M. Here, M can be an odd number or an even number. Axiom number two. The addition of two even numbers always results in another even number. Mathematically, this can be expressed as follows. Let us take A and B as two different even numbers. Thus, it can stated that A plus B is equal to C. Here, C is another even number. Those are the two axioms used by Euclid of Alexandria. Next, let us move to the proving process. The proving process states as follows. First step. Let us take A and B as two different even numbers. Thus, according to axiom number one, A can be expressed as M plus M. Then B can be expressed as Q plus Q. Both M and Q 
can be even number or odd number. Second step. Let us proceed the addition of A and B. According to first step, A plus B can be expressed as equation number 3. Here, let us focus on terms M plus Q as underlined. According to axioms number 2, the order of such terms can be rearranged into Q plus M. This is because the addition of two even numbers, in this case, A and B, always result in another even number. And all even numbers can be divided into two equal numbers. In this case, that number is M plus Q. Therefore, the rearrangement of terms M plus Q into Q plus M is indeed valid. The fact that M plus Q is equal to Q plus M and the fact that both M and Q can be even or odd number have adequately proved the commutative property in addition. Please support us by buying our books or by donation through Patreon and PayPal. The links are provided in the description. For systematic learning, please visit our website or by reading our books. Our books can be obtained in electronic medium and as printing books. You can send the books as gifts for your beloved ones. Do not forget also to subscribe. Peace be.